We're just gonna keep it space funeral. Uh, wait a minute. No, that works. Awesome. The category of the next game is murder. Welcome to the trial of murder, dog. Chat. Now, this is a slight interlude before I go on to my next game I have. But I thought I would- I, I thought it was important that uh, we don't- we, we don't fuck around for a bit, alright? Because a lot of fucking people died uh, during this- during the times before Murder Dog, uh, the trial of Murder Dog, Murder Dog 4. Uh, during Murder Dogs 1 through 3, Murder Dog killed an astonishing amount of people. Literally thousands of people. Murder Dog. And now, uh, obviously we'll be playing as the Murder Dog in his, in his adventure, going through the legal system of, uh, wherever this place is. Shall we? Begin the trial. Are you guys all emotionally prepared? Because this is actually like pretty heavy shit. Like this is fucked up. This is fucked up. Murder dogs one through three are meaningless to play. The fourth one is where it's like the it's like playing. It's just a better game. The fourth one is where the devs really figured out what that what was going on with Murder Dog and the story. Let's go. Begin the trial. Murder Dog is on trial in the Hag. Hog, hogway, ha, hag, for crimes against humanity. Court is now in session. The defendant known as the murder dog, aka crime pooch, aka slaughter pup, aka the mutt, aka wolf of bones, has been charged with more than 1,500 instances of brutal homicide and assaults on human dignity. My thirst for bloodshed remains voluminous. <laughs> Look at him. He's looking at us right now, chat. We're in the crowd. He's looking at us right now. He wants to murder everyone. Uh, let's cut to the, ch the chase. It should be obvious to all involved that Murder Dog did indeed commit these murders and would probably not hesitate to do so again. However, the legal system must make a distinction between what we know as individuals and what we can be demonstrated with evidence in this bizarre realistic setting. Ritualistic setting. It is really quite admirable. Okay, Juris 3, silence! The penalty for such crimes is death! How do you plead? How do you plead against the charge of crimes against the human race? Guilty. If murder is a crime, then I don't want to be innocent. You are hereby sentenced to execution at dawn. We hope humanity can move this Move beyond this awful chapter, Murder Dog has been beheaded by the state. Goodbye, Murder Dog. There's really something quite civilized about a guilty plea. It's heartwarming. It means all parties are in agreement. Goodbye, Murder Dog. <laughs> I'll never forget you, dude. But could any of Murder Dog's actions really be so civic-minded? Is it not more reasonable to- uh, this, this, this dialogue is meaningless. No, you- Why you- uh, uh, Court of Law, turn off the game. It turned- They turned off the game for me. I have to relaunch Murder Dog now. Let's do this one for real. Back to the court. This time I'm gonna prove myself innocent, shit. I'm not guilty. Silence! Alright. My only crime is my love for absolute chaos, says Murder Dog. He sounds innocent, chat. I'd believe him. You will be given a turn to mount your own defense. Choose wisely. Uh. Okay, I can use something. I can eat something. I can destroy something. Uh, what's at what are the what? Oh, all right, let's see what evidence they actually have on me. Oh, this is a forensic report, hair comparison, that could be anything. That's nothing. Let's see evidence B. Exhibit B, a photograph of the murder dog graphically executing a victim. Yikes. Uh, okay, this isn't- this means nothing, alright? Fuck you! This means nothing! My client could- that could have been photoshopped! Deep fake. It's a deep fake. I demand respect in this court. Now. 
for my client. I'm representing Murder Dog, obviously, chat. Uh, I, I'm gonna present this. I would like to present the jury with this haunting photograph. Ah, uh, very well. This court acknowledges the photo of the defendant tearing a woman in half. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> this means nothing, Chad. It's a deep fake. I don't have to refute shit. What do we got for evidence A? Uh, this looks like on June 14th, 1997, the murder dog killed a whole bunch of people. I'm not sure why. He sprayed a toxic gas into the crowd and murdered strugglers by running them down in a fire engine. Several buildings were torched. Some, some report the murder dog violently assaulting people with hammers. However, this I did not see. 100 people were executed by the murder dog and blood for the streets. Blood poured through the streets. Please bring this heinous dog to, this is awful handwriting. I refute this. What were you doing on the morning in question? Uh, I was murdering everyone. Enough! Even aside from the testimony, your own replies are quite damning enough, and this will be taken into the decision of the jury. I don't know what to tell you, it's what I do! The court takes your interpretation of the letter into account. I was a, a murder dog! What do you want? <laughs> it's what I do! <laughs> it's my name! God fucking damn it. Hang on, what about the- uh, this, 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 I'll prove myself innocent here. Sample from Murder Dog 2011 short inflexible bristly hairs. Canine in nature. No known breed. breed. Sample from Crime Scene Shit City 1995. Short rather inflexible flaky bristly hairs. Canine in nature. No known breed. At this point, Murder Dog was officially off the Shit City Police Department and was a dog of interest. I'm contesting this. This is not me. This is quite clearly not me. On what grounds do you contest this evidence? Uh... I want to murder everybody is definitely gonna get me executed if I do this one more time. These crime hits don't match! The prosecutor's forensic expert rebuffs your argument by pointing out that while some degradation is to be expected over a long period, the uncategorizable nature of the evidence and their similarity to the similarly uncategorizable murder dog should not be dismissed. Uh, I want to murder everybody. The court awkwardly avoids your stern gaze, seeming not to recognize the true import of your apocalyptic pronouncement. <laughs> Alright, dog can't get to everywhere, fuck you! The prosecuting attorney rhetorically asks if you took that from the latest Garfield to, to widespread laughs which stop abruptly as you slowly turn in your chair to face the court. It's circumstantial evidence. The prosecuting attorney looks irritated and tries to launch a rhetorical speech uh, before Murder Dog leans slowly over the table and growls, Circumstantial through a savage canine maw, evidently unfit for human speech. The jury pulls itself together and decides that this is a valid objection to the report, which can therefore only be used to supplement more concrete evidence. Let's call a witness. Whoa, well, wait, wait a second. Victim 1136. You're telling me one- you tell me someone survived. Murder dog, you didn't tell me that we had someone survive one of your murders. Murder dog, of course, I'll- I'll, uh, I'll, I'll- Alleged murders, of course, murder dog. Ah, uh, There's no way this person's functioning. Jurists, we would like to thank victim 1136 for taking the time to come out here despite such tremendous circumstances. <laughs> thank you, I am also grateful to Cool Tech RU. The murder dog, the brain, this is a brain in a jar. Murder dog has forcibly been resta restrained. I'm restrained, I'm tied up for this one. Now, would you be able to relate what happened to you on the day of June 16th, 1997? At the time, 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 I was working as a cashier at Bur Burger Zone in shit City. It was a very su sunny day, 50 by the helio meat. <laughs> I was just about to go off sh shift, shift when an extremely heavy set humanoid dog came in. Can you tell, can you see this dog anywhere in the courtroom, sir? As I no longer have eyes, I can not, not, not. Were you aware of the presence of the murder dog within Shit City at this time? 
I was, I was, as the murder dog was considered a local celeb until quite recently. Would you be able to say that the dog who entered the store on the day bore extremely close resemblance to murder dog? To my knowledge, there was only one humanoid dog in shit city at the time, which matches murder dog. Could you please tell the court what happened the next on that day? The, the, the dog who entered the store began to laugh. He was extremely, it was an extremely distressing sound. The dog began moving closer to me while staring straight into my eyes. I backed away while trying not to be afraid. While he was behind the counter, the dog leaned forward as if to ask something. To avoid conflict, I leaned in, and that's when the dog tore my face off in its jaws. As I was temporarily in shock, I was able to watch as the dog pulver pulver pulverized my body and limbs. After destroying my torso, the dog ripped a pack of cigars from behind the counter out. Do you remember what he said? It, it sounded like Japanese nationalist propaganda. This is all bullshit, I see. So he, ate, he ripped the person's face off, crushed their torso, yelled Japanese propaganda, and then started smoking cigars. I don't remember what happened next. When I regained consciousness, I was a jar. Thank you, Terry. This will be all. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I hope you will take this into account in the sentencing of Murder Dog. That'll be all. Well, that wasn't good. <laughs> well, that was bad. That, that, didn't, that, that, that did not bode well for Murder Dog. I eat the jurists? Help! Get it off of me! Ah! Ah! Murder dog devours jurist one. Murder dog eats jurist two and three. <laughs> He's pulling out kidneys right now. Murder dog destroys bailiff one. Murder dog destroys bailiff two and three. Bailiff three is informing the Dutch government to execute the Omega plan. Murder dog destroys bailiff three before he can finish the command. Murder Dog is frolicking in blood. Murder Dog releases a ghoulish howl. You hear a faint whistling. Murder Dog de is de Murder Dog devoured an entire head. The Dutch government has dropped a napalm bomb on the courthouse. Murder Dog suffered third-degree burns. He's burning up. Murder Dog's flesh is cracked. Murder Dog's bones are cracking. His eyes have melted. Murder Dog is laughing. He's still laughing. He's suffering terrific burns on his flesh. He's dying. Murder Dog is dead. You are dead. You are dead. You are dead. Murder dog has been destroyed. Murder dog died the way he lived, in the most brutal and pointlessly destructive manner imaginable. Wow. Well, it closed my game again. Chat, I don't leave this courtroom until I prove his innocence! He has done nothing wrong. Why? I will not stand for them besmirching Murder Dog's good name like this for a fucking moment longer, chat. I won't let them do it to him. He doesn't deserve it. He killed everyone. It was a misconception. All right, let's play my cards more carefully here. Evidence C. Okay, first, not guilty. I'm not guilty. Evidence C. What was evidence C? That was the hair thing. That's... We can easily prove ourselves innocence off of that one. Photograph of murder dog graphically executing a victim. I ref... Uh, actually, I don't think I'm gonna get away with refuting that one. Uh, I'm gonna eat that one. Are you sure you want to destroy that? Yeah, eat it. You devoured evidence B. You ripped and tore evidence B. Evidence B has been completely destroyed. Eat that shit, jury. <laughs> yeah, I ate that one. I guess no one's gonna be using that as evidence, idiot. Oopsie daisy. Looks like you got no proof of me actually ripping someone in half. Jurist one started yelling. Everyone's yelling. Bailiff one jumped me. They all jumped me. Uh, you're getting tired. Bailiff 5 jumped you. They're all piling on me. You've been restrained to the chair. You can no longer eat or destroy. That's okay. Order! Order! For destroying vital evidence, you are sentenced to five years in prison in contempt of court. I am in contempt of every living organism on this planet! Says the murder dog. Yeah. You guys should be fucking scared of me right now. Yeah! That's right. All right. Uh, I 
would like to talk about, I would like to refute evidence. A. What were you doing in the morning in question? I was brushing my teeth. What did you do then? I went to bed. Murder dog, murder dog. Do you often sleep in the middle of the day? My talents are many and should not be opposed. Murder dog, murder dog. Surely you went on patrol sometime. I am the dog without qualities and should not be opposed. And what did you see? Ah. Uh, I saw a swan. I saw a beautiful swan flying overhead. I contemplated my life. Anything more relevant to the case? What did you see? A fire engine. What did you do with the truck? Ah, uh, I used it to save people from the poison gas. Poison gas? What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? My methods are unorthodox in countless ways, juror. No, we simply can't countenance for such an inconsistent story. Narrative cohesion is just one of many things I desire to annihilate, juror. We've heard enough. It's clear that you can't be trusted here. The court takes your interpretation of the letter into account. God damn it. Shit. Well, evidence C is nothing. And I can prove that one right away. It's circumstantial evidence. Bada bing. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, call a witness? We haven't talked to Police King. He, maybe he can cover me. Police King, it's great to be here. It's great to see you again, Murder Dog. You're my brother, I love you, and it's my professional opinion that you've gotta be destroyed, bro. What the? Police King? You're my brother! This isn't going well. Five-year associate of the murder dog, witness for the prosecution and for the defense. Is that even fair? I'm gonna bark. Bark, bark, bark. Murder dog was deployed for a variety of crimes involving domestic terrorism, mass murder, vandalism, squatting, bank robberies, canine control. Uh, bark, bark, bark. Woof. Our association with Murder Dog ended after the events of July 14th, 1995, when he destroyed two station cars and a petting zoo on his own initiative. I growl at him. I am not able to comment on the viability of anarchy and bloodshed as long-term strategy at this time. I'm done talking to him. I don't think he's gonna help me. I call another witness, I call the journalist. Uh, here we have, a uh, Pete. He's, he's tried to expose me. I worked the beat in Shit City for many years, which only made it more traumatizing when it was so radically depopulated by the murdered dog. Oh yeah? Well, let's talk about your alcohol consumption. In response to the carnage I witnessed on the murder dog case, I lapsed into alcoholism for several months before going clean with the help of my wife, Michelle. All right, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about your uh, re awards. I was awarded the, po the Pulitzer in 1998 for my reporting on the murder dog's rampage. That's bullshit. Let's talk about the, let's talk about the murder dog. Murder dog was quite a well-known figure initially before the unexpected media blackout on the subject, tracking him down revealed but he had gone rogue. Let's talk about the money. It's true I made a lot of money from my book on the murder dog case, but it was all above board as a result of working to bring information to the public. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Let's talk about death. The mutilated bodies I found while covering the murder dog case haunt me to this day, judging me. I... Let's have a word about the eyeballs. Murder dog gazes sternly into the journalist's eyes. But the man does not flinch. Shit City Bugle has the largest circulation of any paper in the city, partially due to our covering of the murder dogs crisis. Pete Hogger. Well, Pete, I don't think I have anything else to say to you. Actually, how do I get out of here? Ah, uh, I guess I asked enough questions. I just yelled a bunch of things at him. I don't know if that, like, those changed over time. I was confused. Just as Murder Dog most likely was. 
I would like to call Police King back to the stand! I'm gonna keep barking at him until stuff changes. Ha! Huh. It, it is correct to say that Murder Dog's facility with blood was regarded as an asset by the SCPD, but only within the strict parameters of the big picture of law enforcement. I'm gonna growl. I'm not able to com comment on the viability. Bark, bark, bark. I'm afraid that information is classified as it involves an ongoing investigation. Bark, bark, bark. It, it would be accurate to say that no charges uh, had, had been brought against Murder Dog from my department. Yes, bark, bark, bark. The Murder Dog was deployed. Blah, 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 blah. All above board. I'm pretty good. Well, in light of his, uh, your devoted service, we felt that uh, while there was no physical difference between the chaos committed in Murder Dog's own time and that committed in the service of law, oh man, no, the SCPD has no intention of releasing files. I object to the use of the word implicates in this context. I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting him. The SCPD refuses to comment on the trial of Murder Dog. He, he was a valued law officer and we wish him well. Police chief just backed off. Prosecution lost a witness. We got him, folks. One less guy in the way. Victim 1136. How do I crush them? While they're talking, I'm going to be investigating Murder Dog. Murder, Do Murder Dog's brutal code makes it clear that self-destruction may only occur in the process of destroying others. Loose floorboard. Murder Dog stomps heavily on the loose floorboard, causing the witness's table to shudder and spill water on the plug socket. The court watches in horror as the witness is electrocuted. Help, 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 help. It looks like he had a brainstorm, quipped Murder Dog as he was led from the room. Gathering themselves, the jury announced that due to this unforeseen accident, the witness's testimony would have no outcome on Murder Dog's verdict. I killed him. Just like I always do. Just like Murder Dog's... Just like Murder Dog... Desires. In his grim existence. I killed another. Goodbye. Witness. Now it looks like there are no more witnesses on call for the jury. The jurists are civic-minded taxpayers who have banded together to enforce justice on you, the player. You'd better hope they're in a good mood. We can't use them unless you have some wider secret plan. Reveal my plan? That was a good plan. You have been forcibly restrained for devouring evidence. You cannot murder everyone right now. Okay. Well, uh, in that case, ladies and gentlemen of the court, I rest my case. Are you sure you're ready to go to the verdict? I am. I think I have, so I think I've proven pretty well that I had nothing to do with any of the things that happened here. Looks like everyone that had something to say, uh, was killed, died, or backed off. So, I mean, in that case, I guess Murder Dog is free to go. Isn't that right? Mm, the prosecution will now make its case against the murder dog. The prosecution makes use of a letter from a reputable witness which implicates murder dog in the act of mass murder. The prosecution is unable to use a photograph of murder dog destroying a civilian as he devoured it in the courtroom. The prosecution attempts to submit a forensic hair analysis to the court, but has to admit that this constitutes circumstantial evidence at best. The prosecution brings the police king as a witness before the court, but he refuses to testify as it may implicate the department and military league. The prosecution is unable to bring the only surviving victim of the murder dog before the court as it was destroyed in a mysterious electrical accident. The prosecution brings an esteemed journalist to the stand, but he is too emotional to testify following a verbal beating from murder dog. Hell yeah. Based on the evidence submitted before the court, we find it impossible to convict the murder dog in this case. However, as a result of his destroying vital evidence during the trial itself, we hereby impose a secondary sentence of five years imprisonment. Five years is nothing to an avatar of chaos. You can't comprehend the blood powers which you face. Take him away, bailiff. Murder Dog has been imprisoned on a lesser charge. <laughs> I'll be back! I'll be back! 
All of you are gonna die! I saw your faces! I know who you are! You're done! You're done! I yell as I go, smiling. Well, a last chat. There is one more option that we have yet to exhaust. Perhaps there's a way Murder Dog gets out of this home free. Allow me to enact my plan. I'm not guilty. Now first, I would like to try one thing. And that's refuting this evidence. This is a deep fake. I refute this. That wasn't me. That picture's not me. Really, you have to do better than... That's not a real corpse either. But this photograph is blank. There's not even anything on the picture. The jury demands a serious refutation of the evidence. I was trying to pull her back together again after an audio mishap. In my role as a police pup, I guess that's all we're getting. The court reluctantly must keep the testimony of Murder Dog in mind while reviewing this evidence. So I could have gotten away scot-free if I hadn't devoured that evidence, chat. Uh, well... I'm gonna go ahead and look at the jurists now. And reveal my grand plan, looking at well, all of them. Which is, of course... <clears throat> and I regret to inform this, jurors. Uh... <clears throat> it's to murder all of you. Murder Dog started laughing. Murder Dog began to tear at his own chest. Jurist 1 looks alarmed. Jurist 3 looks alarmed. Murder Dog pulls a machine gun from, from within his own bloody chest cavity. Murder Dog sprays the room. Jurist 1 is dead. 2 is dead. 3 is dead. The bailiffs are dead. The courtroom is all dead. They're all dead. All of them are dead. Murder Dog bursts out of the courtroom. He hijacks a car. The open road. From here, you can continue rampaging through Hog, try to jump the border at Maastricht, or hijack a plane at Amsterdam. Go, go, Slaughter Wolf. I'm out. <laughs> we did it, boys. I'm free. Let's ride. I'm gonna jump the border at Maastricht. Murder Dog is headed for the border. Murder Dog hears po police sirens. Murder Dog hears a police helicopter. The windscreen is shattered in a hail of bullets. Murder Dog is bleeding. He's shrieking defiance at the pigs as he hits the accelerator. His tires have been shot out. The car swerves into an RV containing a family of four. Murder Dog is engulfed in flames. He lurches out of the car. He rams a police car with his flaming body. Murder Dog devours policeman one and two. He releases an unearthly howl as he devours a head. Murder Dog is being peppered with assault rifle rounds. SWAT team rolls a grenade into the police car. Murder Dog is blown aside. His legs have disintegrated. Murder Dog is snarling in defiance. As he crawls towards the SWAT team, SWAT team fires around after round into the Murder Dog's head and torso. Policeman Six buries an axe in Murder Dog's brain. You're dying. You're dead. You are dead. I've been destroyed. I was destroyed again. All right, so going, jumping the border isn't gonna happen, chat. But there has to be a way out of this. Not guilty. Let's do this. I kill all of them again. This time, I ride to Amsterdam. Murder Dog encounters a police cordon, murdering. Murder Dog is heading for the airport. He swerved his car into plow, to plow through a flower stall. Murder Dog is covered in blood. Murder Dog is laughing. He killed a, someone working in a flower stall. He slaughters his way into the airport. He hears sirens. Murder Dog boards the plane. Murder Dog freezes as a cold wind caresses his fur. Murder Dog stands on the threshold. He hears faint whistling. Murder Dog is hurled across the tarmac as bombs annihilate his plane. Murder Dog is covered in terrific third degree burns. Murder Dog's blood is boiling. He can no longer hear his own yells. He makes a final obscene gesture at the massed ranks of order. He's dead. They bombed me to stop me from escaping Amsterdam. Fine. If that's how you want to play. If that's how you want this to be, court. Then I won't leave town at all. I will take Hog as my own grim domain. 
I kill the jurists. All of them. I remain in the hog. Murder Dog turns the car around and heads back to hog. Murder Dog crushes a child beneath his tires. He crushes a police officer. He's screaming. He turns toward the buildings of the Dutch Parliament. But Murder Dog, what are you planning on doing? The Dutch Parliament. We're actually going into the Dutch Parliament. Gentlemen, we must take action. The Murder Dog is rampaging through the city. It is time to... <laughs> I want to murder. What do you mean, you? Everything. <laughs> I want to murder everything. <laughs> I won! Congratulations! In staying true to your brutal ethos of absolute murder, you have achieved the best canonical ending to Murder Dog 4 and are now eligible for a special prize. Please email your name and address to murderdogprizelist at fbi.gov. Thank you for playing. Cool shit. I won. Nice. I didn't. They want me to mail that to the FBI though, and I wouldn't fall for that. I'm I'm murder dog. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't be fooled so easily by things like that. Cool game. Alright, chat. Let's switch it up. And play something with a little bit more brain power involved, alright? <laughs>